G'day, it's Paul Pelican here, just going through a replay of a match that I had versus Sprite under the new ban list uh, for October. So we've got three Ben 10 in our deck now, and that's the only change that I've made to my deck list, is just putting in a third Ben 10. Um, the Sprite obviously had Ronan Totem banned, so you can see this guy's on a, on a couple of hand traps. Uh, they've got Crow and Imperm, and then they've got Beaver to get them started, and they've even got some other... Um, tech cards like enemy controller um, smashes is an engine card but um, so yeah I, I won rock paper scissors so I'm going first with my hand I do have access to alpha and then I can get Zeta through here but I thought it would be better to try and bait something out by going alpha tribute the Ben 10 to begin with because then I still have this to go into Zeta and I've got another Ben 10 so um, it was quite effective actually just to start with that play um, and I baited out the crow so they use their crow on the Ben 10 now I was able to get my alpha search so they know that I have O field now um, and now I could go through and do a Zeta play uh, I think if they had um, Ash, they would have used it on the Alpha because they could have Ash the Alpha and then still crowed the Ben 10 um, and, and stopped the two plays early on if they had that. So I, I was pretty confident that Zeta would, would be uh, fairly fine to go through now. Um, if it wasn't, I still have Diviner anyway to go and search my Ritual spell. So I did Diviner next because I already had this. I actually think maybe I should have done um, the Zeta then and gone into Mu Beta first, but it didn't really matter because they didn't use Imperm on that. Uh, they decided to wait and use Imperm on the um, the Mu Beta, which will happen now. Um, notice I, I'm getting quite a few fairy searches early, so um, I've already got a fairy that I'll be able to use off Mirage Light. So I'm, I'm just I'm getting the Lance here as well. Okay, I go through and do Mu Beta, and they imperm that. Now, at this point, I'm thinking, well, it's pretty unlikely they'll have three hand traps. Um, if they do, good on them. Not much I can do about that. So I've just pivot now into um, the sort of lines that use Beatrice, like a Zeta Ben 10 line. And that's why it's important to know those two card combos, because into interruptions, quite often, what your board will end up is what a two card combo will get to. So that's it's a real reason in favor of this um, Megalith Scythe version is that the two card combos uh, seem to be the best in my opinion um, of all the versions. And so when you get hand trapped twice like I have, you can go towards a fairly decent play that still Scythe locks and things like that. So I go through and make Beatrice to send the Gamma because I wasn't able to get it off the Mu Beta add back the Medionis, go through and do Dagda. That sets the Scythe, which then I can bring out my Megalifts. Um, if you don't, um, yeah, if you're not bringing out full, remember you can bring out Ophiel and then tribute it off to bring out full um, and then full. It's, it's just a great advantage generator. All right, we link link off the, um, the Beatrice into Elf. Okay, because that's what we would normally do in this, this two card play anyway. Okay, we get another fairy search um, from the Ben 10. So I've just searched Natasha. Uh, it, it will basically be the, the Mirage Light um, discard now that I've, I've got Ben 10 and it. Um, and, and that means we can also just shotgun the Lance here because we've got enough fairies. Um, this this can now be my follow-up um, and that that can be shotgun to stop anything that they might be able to banish um, which which actually stops their smashes which is nice and and yeah then Natasha can be the discard for Mirage Light so bring back the full so we end up with a pretty impressive board through um, an Imperm and a Crow All right we've got Elf to bring back the Diviner to pop the Scythe um, we've got Spell and Trap Negate, so that's important in case they're playing Mystic Mine. And then we've got Fool to be able to pop a bunch. And then also Lancia. So, yeah, it's quite a good board. It comes down to basically a Zeta Ben 10 line. I've shotgunned the Lancia. They go through and summon Beaver. 
and then I just go through and siphon lock them and they basically realize that they can't do anything from this point on uh, so that's that's the game they surrender there all right um, so yeah we'll, we'll go to game two next I thought I'd mention what I side in going second um, against Sprite so I put in the lava golems um, that's always good to just get rid of a couple of threats uh, before they do um, things like elf in the main phase because they can't respond to it the other thing I side in was droplet okay um, just to negate all of the board things and then the other thing is lightning storm um, already had talents in my deck but lightning storm um, now that they don't have toad um, it can just either it'll either at worst be just a trade-off just one for a negate but um, it could actually just wipe a couple of things in the back row and force out things like the starter so um, yeah basically they're starting they they have D shifter um, which traditionally is quite bad for us but um, there, there are ways you can try and play around it depending on what you got they decided not to do much but just set imperm and starter I think they're thinking shift is um, going to be enough to stop us completely I top deck go field now it didn't shotgun the shifter uh, not not really sure why but anyway um, so he's just chained it to alpha so I'll actually get the Zeta in grave and I'm able to now use the Zeta I thought it's okay to tribute the Ben 10 it'll still trigger it gets banished doesn't matter we've got three of them now um, so yeah the Ben 10 just add another Ben 10 now emergency is good um, I, I do play the Drytron beta um, so if in this situation if I did have to tribute a, a Drytron to get it out there I could have done um, beta to tribute the Zeta and then it would bring it back from um, to the grave from Banish so yeah it's <laughs> it's not the best playing beta but um, you, you can play it for those sort of purposes all right I, I decided to just add a Gamma for follow-up and go for a Zeus play I, I did expect one of these to be an imperm I wasn't exactly sure what the other one would be um, I thought it could have been some sort of trap um, I was hoping it was like a um, dimension barrier or something like that so I'm able to just go into a big Zeus now and force both of those things in the back row okay I don't really care like I said I don't really care about things being banished um, on a follow-up turn because I'm playing beta I can always send it off uh, the, the Fafnir okay that forces both things at this point here I thought quite hard about whether I want to try and make any other plays or whether they'll be able to um, OTK me in their turn and I decided just to leave it there um, and it's a bit of a risk whether you try and wall up a bit more um, but banish some of your resources or um, or just just let it because of the D shift I, I didn't think they'd be able to OTK me um, now they top deck another D shifter uh, and they yeah they really just didn't have enough gas to get get through and um, punch for the win they, they're playing mind control which is an interesting tech um, but you can't you can't attack with the mind control so the lava golem really just kills any kind of follow-up they have here um, so I just go lava golem straight away and they decide to scoop there so um, yeah you can play through D shifter um, as long as they're not able to um, yeah kill you on on their following turn um, D shift is not too bad um, but we never really want to be facing it all right there's um, a match versus sprite in the new format so I hope you enjoy that I'm Paul Pelican have a great day